So bad weather didn't stop a protest in front of City Hall this morning. Members of Take Em Down Jacksonville say that they're upset about the Confederate monument still standing in a Springfield Park. The monument is likely to remain in place. News for Jacks reporter Jim Pickett was there when the peaceful protest began. And Jim has also talked to the mayor about what he believes should happen now. This is the scene in front of City Hall this morning. At about 9 o'clock, there were eight people with picket signs out here upset about that monument, the Confederate monument, in Springfield Park. It was a peaceful protest, but I will tell you, police were aware of this. They were stationed across the street. There were a few officers here, but so far, things have been going rather smoothly. They're making the word known because the city council will vote on this measure this coming Tuesday. The concern is the statue, covered now because it's been vandalized, but it depicts a mother reading to her two children. It's said to be a tribute to the women of the Southland. These picketers from Take Em Down Jacks are obviously opposed to keeping the Confederate monument standing and say it's the city council now creating the problem. To keep it covered means that there's a real problem in Jacksonville. To keep it covered means that there are more people who want it down and want to keep it up is telling people that it's the city council members that are perpetuating the racial divide in Jacksonville. Three council committees voted this week not to pay $1.3 million to have the statue removed, and it's likely the full council will follow suit. We also learned this week that if the statue remains, it will also remain covered because of past vandalism. And that's a question I put to Mayor Curry. I would encourage people to call and reach out to the members of council. Uh, look, I've put forth legislation in a bill. That's how it works. The dollars have to be appropriated through that legislative body. If they say no, um, the, 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 I, ha I have no other options. But to keep it covered. Correct. And I guess, are you worried that this is really going to cause more demonstrations, more violence in the city as a result of this uh, I think we've had the protests in Jacksonville have been largely peaceful. Uh, we had a, an episode or two summer of last year that uh, JSO was able to quickly get under control. So if people want their voices to be heard, it's free speech. I encourage it. And this group plans to do just that and continue picketing in front of City Hall on Monday and Tuesday. Jim Pickett, Channel 4, the local station. Thank you, Jim. And other groups are weighing in. The Southern Poverty Law Center issued a statement saying it's not too late for city council to change its direction and vote to remove the statue. The Northside Coalition is now asking the Chamber of Commerce and the Civic Council to meet with them to discuss the issue.